I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll discuss domain and range of a piecewise function. The question here is, sketch graph and write domain and range of the following piecewise function. f of x equals to minus 2 when x is less than minus 1. f of x equals to absolute value of x when x is between minus 1 and 1. And it is equal to x minus 2 whole square for x greater than or equal to 1. So let me make a coordinate system here. You can always pause the video, uh, sketch the graph, write down the answer, and then look into my suggestion. Now, whenever we have piecewise function, it's a good idea to find some values within the given uh, set of values, right? So we are saying f of x is minus 2 when x is less than minus 1. So let me just make a grid here. So I'll just roughly just draw a few lines. In minus 1, we're just going one value. On the other side, we are going, okay. So let me just sketch some lines here and make a grid here, right? So this will help you to, to sketch a, a graph, okay. That's fine. Assume these are perfectly straight lines and then we'll sketch a neat graph. So we have f of x on the y-axis, x here, 0 there. Now, first part is that when x is less than minus 1, that means this is minus 1 for us, then the value is minus 2. Then the value is minus 2. That really means that, uh, let me sketch with a colored pen. Okay, so at minus 1, it is less than, but not equal to, right? So. So we'll start with open circle at, I'm sorry, this is minus two, I'm sorry. Minus two is here, right? So at minus two, we'll start at open circle and less than minus one means on the left side. So it goes like this, do you see that? So we get first part, which is shown in green here. This is minus two, okay. Now let's look into the next part, which is absolute x. We'll do this one now absolute x is between minus 1 and 1. So if I write minus 1 here, I get positive 1, that's the value. If I write 0, I get this point. And if I write 1, I again get positive 1, right? However, what you notice here is that I'll have to use another ink, okay? But let's say this one. It is from minus 1 where minus 1 is not included, right? It's greater than minus 1. So it will be an open circle here, is it okay? And then all other points are within the graph and this is closed circle. So that is how it's different. Do you see that part? So this is the center part, right? So we have drawn two pieces of this piecewise function. Now let me take up the third part, which is x minus two whole square when x is greater than one. So let us take x as one. In that case, the value will be 1 minus 2 whole square, that is 1. So at 1, we have this value 1. Is it okay? Okay. So, and if I write 2, we know 2 minus 2 is 0. So 2 minus 2 is 0. In between, uh, and two, 2 is this place here. Yeah, 2 is this place. And then uh, what we have here is, because it is x minus 2 whole square, let's say if I write 3 here, so 3 will give me again 1, right? So 3 will give me again 1. So this is not the point of interest. So that is the point of interest. So what you notice here is this is a parabola which opens upwards with vertex at 2, right? Right. So the graph of this function will be kind of like this. Is it okay? So that is how this graph is going to be. So this I have drawn like this, uh, the third piece. Now you can notice uh, that it is discontinuous at minus 1, correct? After that, it is continuous. Okay, now let's write down the domain and range of this function. We have done the first part of sketching the graph. Domain of this function. So domain of the function is x belongs to real numbers and now from where to where. So here in this part, you see that it is from minus infinity to to minus 1. Minus 1 is not in the domain, right? But after that, all the points are in domain. So we can say x belongs to real number 
where x is not equal to minus 1. So that gives you the domain of this function. Perfect. How about range? Range of this function is y belongs to real numbers. So it has one value which is minus 2. So let's say y equals to minus 2. And what? And it has all the values from 0 to infinity. Positive, right? And you can say y is greater than or equal to 0. So that covers the range part of this function, right? So that is how we could answer this particular question. Now here, you also note that the function is discontinuous at, at x equals to minus 1, right? Since we have x less than minus 1, it is minus 2. And when x is between minus 1 and 1, both not included, it is absolute function. Do you see that? Both not included. But however, at 1, since the value for the second and the third matched, we have a filled in graph. So this was actually a circle here also, circle there, and this filled in was because of the parabola, right? So that is another correction here in this video. Okay, I didn't really note that. So now it is clear. For the absolute function, the portion of the graph should have been kind of like this. Do you see this open circles? Since these uh, were greater than, I mean, x is greater than minus 1 and less than 1. So that would be open circle. However, with this parabola, we have greater than equal to. So that fills up and makes this, this piecewise function continuous at x equals to 1. So we can say it is continuous at x equals to 1 since the third piece overlapped at 1 for the second piece. I am Anand Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.